يا اخي والله اي هاف ا كويشن ات از اي ثينك فور اول ذا مسلم ان راوند يوروب وي هاف ا كيدز اند بيسكلي ان هير ان يو كي اند ذا كيد از جوين سكول بيسكلي ذا تيش ام اباوت جندرز اند وي هاف نو تشويس اند ذا بيست واي بيسكلي هاف تو ليف يوروب اند وير وي جو وي فروم عراق اند ويتش از نوت سيف اند وي ار بيسكلي ان باد بوزيشن and uh, we don't know what to do because if we go with the bear and uh, the wives go with the niqab we, we might be asked it uh, every week you know we have to go to police you know uh, where we go is not safe basically you know it's sunni but it's run by the you know what i mean okay so. Ach- Achhi, this is a problem that most muslims living in kafir lands face but to my knowledge the uk is the best place for Muslims to live in because their people and their government are very tolerant and open-minded unlike neighboring countries who are hypocritical and blatant liars when they say that there is democracy in their land. Rather there is communism and the likes and socialism enforcing their people not to wear the, the, the girls in school, not to wear the abaya, not the head scarf, the abaya. Anything that relates them to their religion is totally banned. UK is the best, to my knowledge. So, alhamdulillah, if you are unable to prevent your kids from studying in such public schools, there are private schools, Muslim schools, that do not teach this. If you're totally unable and you don't have the means to migrate to a Muslim country, in this case, you have to focus on condensing the amount of Islamic knowledge you give to your children to teach them that this gender issue and the LGBTQ and the sex education is all against Islam and teaching the proper knowledge about Islam, teach them how to abide by the Quran and the Sunnah and to have their own identity and inshallah they will be saved.